Some see it as a model of peace and coexistence, others as a naive and disconnected initiative. More than 50 years after it was founded, Neve Shalom, a small community of Jews and Arabs, continues to develop, despite the difficult time Israel is going through following the October 7 Hamas onslaught. It was very scary, like in... Uh, like in the first, uh, no, the first week that we had uh, after the uh, 7th of October, it was very scary and we didn't go, go, go to school and we uh, went to school. We did know it would happen eventually, but we didn't expect it to be like this and at this time. And it was just at the end of the year, so we started a new year with it. And it's very sad, I think, to start a year with a war. Neve Shalom, or Wahad al Salam, Oasis of Peace in English, was founded in 1969 by Father Bruno Hussar, a monk from the Latrun Monastery. The idea was to create a community where Jews and Arabs would have a joint management, equal rights, and equal facilities. We wanted to create a model of how Jews and Palestinians who share this piece of land can live in equality and peace between them. And we created the community, uh, which have, has an even number of Jews and Palestinians. It's a growing community. We started four families, now we are more than 100, and our second generation is coming to live here, uh, and to show that it is possible. Over the years, Neve Shalom has attracted both media attentions and many visitors. It developed and opened facilities such as restaurants and a luxurious hotel. This egg-shaped structure called the House of Silence is a good example of how the coexistence agenda of the village is taking shape. Anyone who wants to pray, we don't have a synagogue or a mosque or um, a church in the community. And this is our um, um, interfaith, multicultural, multifaith uh, uh, place. So people are invited to pray in their private uh, um, uh, time. But uh, the only condition is to, res to have respect to other people, to other uh, religions, and without leaving any symbol or, or something related to your religion religion so this is and and i do like the the silence component because if you pray to your god no matter what religion sometimes you have to listen and to you know to not only to talk so we talk a lot we debate a lot we have dialogue groups but but when when you are here in the spiritual center uh, um, you are invited to listen but not everything smells like roses here over the years the village suffered vandalism and arson attacks from its opponents. In one case, the School of Peace was burned by extremists. Some of the residents here are still questioning their ability to change the reality in Israel. I'm not here because I'm optimistic. I'm here because I want to be part of something that's bigger than me. I want to be part of hope, um, giving a chance, you know, living a meaningful life. You know, if I have to measure it, I'm le less optimistic or, or more pessimistic than I used to be, yes. Uh, not only because of the, uh, what happened on 7th of October and following that, but also what happened in, in the Israeli public opinion in the last, I don't know, two, three years. In 2006, rock star Roger Waters performed here on the fields of Teve Shalom. His performance was considered a landmark in the village. But in recent years, the former Pink Floyd frontman has become a controversial figure who gave inflammatory comments about Israel and leads the BDS movement. Samah Saleim, a resident and media coordinator of the village, has mixed feelings regarding waters. He picked a side with the Palestinian people with the, with the, um, uh, against the occupation and uh, um, with, with what's happening in the current Israel, you can't blame him. But uh, it was a little bit painful that he uh, claimed that you know, the concert in Nebe Shalom Salam was a mistake. It's hard to tell what the future will bring to this village and how much this so-called experiment of coexistence will influence the Israeli society on the wake of October 7. But in the meantime, the residents of Neve Shalom welcome visitors and hope to continue their daily life in this beautiful spot 
between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv.